and here is my cream sweet cream or sweet corn casserole 14 little circles out of this oh my gosh that's two teaspoons of cinnamon and here we are i didn't think it was gonna pop up that easily i gotta get to chopping those onions and you know what i forgot on my plate a piece of sausage and oh my gosh these are delicious isn't that cute and there that's the finished one i wish i had videotaped in there Howdy everyone, this is Trisha Texas Lady and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making some simple salsa. We'll start off with some tomatoes. We want some nice little tomatoes. These are about a small to medium size. I'm going to be using five of them. You can use this type of regular tomatoes or Roma tomatoes. I'm going to be using a yellow onion. I think I only use about half of that onion. You can use the whole thing if you want. I'm also going to be using three large jalapenos. You can use serrano peppers instead of jalapenos if you like it a little bit hotter. I'd probably use about five of them. We're going to start off by chopping up our tomatoes. I'm really basically just cutting them in half and then in half again. So just basically cube these tomatoes as you can see here. I want to make sure I get that little bit off at the top off of the tomatoes and then they'll be ready to go into my pan. I'm doing the same with the jalapenos. I'm only cutting them in half. You don't have to cut them in half if you don't want to, but you can cut them in half or cut them into quarters. Make sure you take that little stem part off of them. We are going to be doing the same thing to the onions. And uh, I think I believe I said I was only going to use half of it, and I think that is what I did. So I took half of the onion and I cut it into thirds. That was basically it. Save the other part for some other time. Again, you can use the whole onion if you really like that. And I've got my skillet here, it's all nice and hot, and I've got some olive oil that I just put some in there just to coat the bottom of the uh, pan. So I'm gonna take my jalapenos first and place them into my hot skillet. Just gently place them in there, just like that. Yep, get them all in there. We wanna make sure that they get nice and kind of like a brown to a burned skin on them is what we want. You can see that pan sizzling. Now we're going to put those onions in there. You can break them up, but I'm going to go ahead and throw them in there as is right now and let them uh, start char broiling a bit. Just move them around a bit, make sure they all fit in there nice and neatly and that they all have a good chance to get that nice browned kind of burnt on the other pieces. Okay, we're going to use some, I'm using the sea salt, but you can use any salt that you want. And just sprinkle a little bit on your jalapenos and your onions. While they're in there here I've gone ahead and I break in the onion pieces apart just kind of because I decided that I wanted them all to get that little char broil on them as you can see some of them have already started doing that look at that it looks really pretty doesn't it yes we want more of that on there so just leave them in a little bit longer then you're just gonna start doing that oh sorry I just dropped one let's pick that up we want to see that jalapeno char just like that this one is giving me a hard time. I can't get it to turn, so I just go ahead and skip it. And I go to the other ones, and as you can see, they've got that nice little char on them. I'm going to attempt this one once again. Nope. Nope. It's giving me a hard time. Okay, I'm going to skip over <laughs> to the onions because that one jalapeno piece was just giving me a lot of trouble. But as you can see, the onions got that nice little char broil on them also. They're getting all nice and brown. Just move them around. Give them a couple of minutes again. Altogether, it takes about four minutes to get these char broiled uh, to the point that I like. I'm going to attempt to move this one around one more time. Let's see if it I can attempt or actually succeed. Let's hold it. Hold it. Okay, there it is. All right, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them off to the sides and you can see all that nice steam coming off from the bottom of the pan. I do end up putting a little bit more olive oil in there before I put my tomatoes in. As you can see there, and I'll start putting those tomatoes in. And you can see as I drop them in, the juice from the tomatoes immediately causes a steam. That is so nice. And the aroma from the jalapenos and the onion is so good. So just put those tomatoes in there. You can sprinkle a little more salt if you want. That also helps to kind of bring out the juices in the tomato. Right now, we really just want to charboil them. You can also uh, add some uh, black pepper to this, or you can wait till you get it into your blender. But for now, uh, as you can see, I did add some salt right there. You can see the little salt crystals on everything. And I'm turning the tomatoes around. Want to get that 
skin to get that same little char roll. The tomatoes are going to get nice and soft, so you want to make sure you're only going to leave them in there for about a, a minute or so because you don't want them to get too soft and break apart on you. You're going to let the blender do that. So just turn them around. I'm going to show you the skin in just a minute on one of these so that you can see what I'm talking about. If you want, you can take these uh, tomatoes out as the skin starts to kind of peel off a bit. See how that looks? You can take the skin off if you want. I'm not going to do that. I leave that in there. I'm sure there's got to be some vitamins in that skin that I really want in my salsa. So let's make this nice and healthy. And uh, if you want to make it even healthier, you can skip on adding the extra salt. And so you can see how beautiful they looked. Now I'm going to be putting these into the blender. So I pull them off the uh, stove and I'm going to be putting the jalapenos and my onions and my tomatoes carefully into my blender. And I believe this is when I added some pepper because I, do, I did add some pepper to my salsa. At some point I lost some footage, but you get the idea. Can you see them in the blender? Yep. Okay, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of liquid. So I'm going to add a little bit of this virgin olive oil that I was using in the skillet as I was uh, charbroiling all my little veggies. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. If you don't want to add any more oil, then skip this part and just go straight to the water. I'm using about a quarter cup. If you skip that, just about a quarter cup of water is fine. And just add that in there. You want to put that in there to help uh, the blender liquefy everything. So just make sure you cover it up before you turn it on and uh, just blend them up, liquefy them. As you can see, it looks really nice. And you can see it kind of turned kind of green. That's okay. It's probably from the jalapenos, but it does look a lot greener on camera than it does in real life. And I've got that skillet where I was cooking them in. I'm going to pour this salsa back into that skillet and get it back to that nice heated temperature so that I can serve this nice and hot to my family. I'm going to stir them around. You can see the little pepper flakes in there. So I did add the peppers, <laughs> the pepper. And you can season this with uh, garlic powder if you want, maybe some cumin. You could have added some garlic in here, or some fresh garlic cloves if you wanted to, to the blender. But there you go. That's my salsa recipe. Nice and simple. You can try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe and share your uh, social medias. And as always, enjoy. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.